Hey guys, it's this right here. I wanted to make a small announcement first before starting this video. Uh, first of all, I'm probably going to do some Gunpla reviews in the near future because Gunpla is something that I like. I've liked it for a few years and even though I stopped about three years ago, um, I just found my old uh, models, again, my model kits, and I freaking love them. I forgot how much I love them. It's an addiction, man. It's an addiction. Not much else to say about it. So, I put them on that shelf there. I put some LED lights that I'm not going to turn on right now. And I will review them eventually. But, um, first of all, I want to talk about something else. So, uh, what happened is I got into Gunpla, and my girlfriend saw that I was really uh, into this kind of stuff. And uh, we went to the anime store a few days ago. She asked me which ones I had, and I showed her which ones. I thought she was just curious about it. But um, Christmas comes, and I realized she got something for me. So, uh, without further ado, I will present... The Dark Hound Master Grade 1 per 100 scale. She is sweet for having gotten this for me. So sweet. I cannot believe she went to the store to actually get me such an expensive model, too. And what's even uh, what's even more surprising is that we went the day before Christmas, we went uh, to uh, check out the anime store so she must have went and gotten it the day after right in the morning because we went snowboarding in the night she went all across town to get this for me so this is the Gundam Dark Hound from uh, Gundam Age and uh, honestly I've never watched Gundam Age so um, I just opened the gift wrap on this guy and I didn't know what to think of him at first. I mean, um, I look at him, I thought he had like a crown here or something. Uh, but after a little bit of research, I realized he was a pirate. This guy is pirate themed. So awesome, right? He's got an eye patch. Like that, that thingy, it's probably a hat, like a pirate hat. Isn't that sweet? And he's got hooks too. I mean, what the hell can you want? Can't ask for more. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to look at the box for now, first few minutes. So, uh, here on the top, we've got a picture of Dark Hound. Here on the bottom, we got Dark Hound 2 with the little warning there. Looks like such a boss, isn't he? Look at him. And um, on the other side, another picture of the same guy. On the side, we got his transformation because this guy is apparently a transformable mobile suit. He can transform into that big ass phallic airplane. And here you got him looking like a boss from the front and looking like a boss from the back. Here we have the airplane again. And here you have the Dark Hound doing yoga. Or Zumba. Maybe it's martial arts. Who knows? I'm not one to judge. You got the two beam savers right there. That's about it for the box. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty big. I guess that's uh, the case for all Master Grains. I just never had one up to now. So, I am gonna remove this. And it's so sweet too, because this guy just came out. Can't believe she got it. So sweet. So, take a look at the runners. I like the packing on it. It's really nice. And um, they're all packed like sort of individually in a way, which is cool. Uh, first off, we've got the green runner, which along with this orange yellowy one, um, these are for the eyes. Uh, actually the eye patch and then the back of the head so you can uh, use either or you can use the green or you can use the orange personally I think I'm gonna go for the green because it's the original and this guy already has a little bit of red so um, you know make some variation in there so you got the green transparent looks like a really nice transparent color too uh, and you got some like gray stuff gray little parts you got the orange 
transparent with the beam sabers in the back and you've got the red, the little bit of red that goes on him. It's all in here. All the color in my hand. And um, this is uh, for the lance. Some nice uh, metallic gun gray kind of thing. It's pretty chromey in a way. Uh, on the other side you got black parts. This is probably the legs, but I'm not sure. Gray parts. Some more black parts and gray parts. And you got the little wires there for the hooks. Because he's a part. Let's not forget. Some more black or gray. And some more black. And some more, huh, some more black. And you got the little stickers there for the eyes. So cool. And you got the um, little manual. Just gonna flip through it really fast. You don't mess with me, man. Okay, guys. So that's about it for the unboxing. Um, I'm going to build this guy. And I'll make a full review once it's up. Take it easy. Peace out. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.